Hi guys, this is Jess and this is how do they feel elements. So the first element we're going to look at is fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're looking at each sign and see what their feelings are for you. Now keep in mind, this is a general, so it may not resonate with all of you. And also as a general, it can go vice versa. So you'll know which side is better for whom. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, just remember that and also i have to say this is love and although the intent is for it to be um, more of an intimate love it does not have to resonate with you guys in an intimate way it could be family friends it can also be as as much of a co-worker or um an acquaintance so again piece it together as it relates to your situation it doesn't always have to show up as an intimate connection that being said let's start with Aries so Aries for those of you who may be dealing with an Aries this person they want to apologize they want to reach out they may have already done that with some of you guys uh, they would like for you to be as receptive to them as they are and they're reaching out to you they want to apologize for some of you they want to apologize they want to make amends but they may not know if it's going to work. They may feel like they um, have no power in the situation. It really kind of is all up to you guys of what, what, how things are going to pretty much work and pan out in this relationship. And some of you, if you're single, you may meet an Aries now. But just know that they may be dealing with some past things that you don't know anything about. So slow but steady wins, wins the race, I feel, with an Aries, whether it be something completely new or someone from your past. But if it is someone from your past or someone you're familiar with, just know that this person kind of does want to make amends. But it's a part of them that still feels a bit stuck in the past or feels helpless in how all of this will turn out. Now, if you're dealing with a Taurus, well, they're coming back. You will be hearing from a Taurus soon after a time of wait, after some time of reflection, after some time of healing, after some time of going internally and trying to come to a conclusion of how they should approach you, they will be reaching out. Now, I do have to say for some of you who are single, you very well may meet a Taurus that'll just rush into your life out of nowhere, literally. Now, for some of you, if that is the case, they're not going to stay around. For some of you, it doesn't mean that they won't for all of you. Uh, but if you do meet a Taurus, I would definitely say take it one step out of it at a time now this isn't typical of a Taurus, as we know that they're the most rock steady of all signs uh, when they make a decision they're pretty much sure of it and they like to see it all the way through but let's not forget <laughs> uranus is in their sign so they're the quite uh they're quite unpredictable at this time no different than an aquarius um they have that lightning speed energy where they're in and then they could be out. So kind of take that into account for some of you who are dealing with a new Taurus. Uh, and for those of you, again, for a Taurus that even is um, a staple in your life or from your past, this person too may still have that same energy of coming in uh, and then they are kind of going back out again. So Tauruses look like they're making a comeback. Now, if you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is not that happy with you. Fire signs. They're not happy at all. Some of them are just downright not satisfied, but they don't know if they're a, they're willing or ready to open the can of worms to deal with it. So they're on the fence whether or not to deal with it um, and address the situation or just completely move on. I think that some of you dealing with Geminis are in this very... They're in a pinnacle place where they're not sure. They're not doing anything about it. They just know that they're not happy because if they do something about it, then it may not yield the results that they want. And then they're at a place where they're not even sure if the decision, <laughs> the decision that they'll take it will be what they want long term. Does that make sense? So they decide to work things out and get over it and apologize or accept the apology. Everything is fine, but they can't let things go. Then they're at the same place of still not being happy. They leave and they finalize the connection but then they'll be sad and missing you and they're still not happy so i think they're in this purgatory right now just stuck not making any decision but nonetheless still unhappy if you're dealing with a gemini if you're dealing with a cancer cancers are pretty much very much self-focused uh if any of you have been watching the uh, cancer video cancers are very much all about themselves right now they their lives are turning a major um their lives are turning a page. The page is being turned, excuse me, the page is being turned in the lives of cancers. And I feel like this cancer just feels like, you know what, they could do better all by themselves and they're very attractive. You know, someone definitely wants them. All they have to do is kind of put themselves out there. You may notice that cancers are looking more attractive and alluring than usual. 
Um, and some of it has to do with this cancer looking elsewhere, not necessarily focusing particularly on you is because there's the, either they have a lot of options. There's been a lot of chaos and drama. They may feel conflicted at this time of not really wanting a commitment 100%. They just kind of want to mix it up and shake it up and get out there and spread themselves around. Or well, It's just been a lot of drama, a lot of undue and unnecessary bickering, and it doesn't seem to be able to come to a place of peace or rest. And so for some of you, a cancer right now is focusing on themselves and not kind of giving into the added drama. And that's what I see for that cancer. Now, if you're dealing with a Leo, it looks like this Leo may... A, the, some of you may not hear from a Leo. A Leo is very busy. They're very stuck on their own life. They could be building a home from scratch, um, working on construction, working on building their own business, really solidifying themselves in some kind of way. Money may be very much a focus for this Leo. Uh, they may be just trying to get their life in balance, getting their act together, getting their stuff together. And I also feel like they're pretty defensive about that. So for some of you, if you feel like you haven't had enough time with your Leo, why haven't I heard from them? Why aren't they reaching out? Um, this Leo is very much adamant about whatever is the focus in their life right now. And they really aren't going to spread themselves thin for anyone. So whatever it is, and they could be juggling more than just you as well. I have to say that I do see that, but I do feel like if if you've been made the priority, let's say if there's like a, a third party in this situation, if you've been made the priority in their lives, probably over the summer, they're now going to put more attention into the person that they've been, you know, um, lacking the atten attention toward. Uh, and, and it almost feels like you know, even if you're in a committed relationship and you're having problematic issues with your Leo, <clears throat> excuse me, it will be very difficult to get them to see your side of things. Compromise is not the first priority on the Leo's list right now. It's all about, you know, economically balancing themselves and again, putting the attention to where they think the focus should be at this time. Also, I feel like this little Leo is not 100% sure what they want when it comes to a relationship. If it's something more intimate between you and that Leo, um, they may not be sure exactly if, if they want to commit, if they're ready to commit. They may feel like there's so many other things that they have in their life that stops them from focusing on uh, a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, so I do feel, again, that you may... You may feel like you're at a loss with a particular Leo, but if you're in something very committed, um, I would say that just give them some time, you know, and perhaps they'll redirect their focus toward you. Otherwise, I do feel like this Leo is in, in a little bit of an emotional upset. Again, money issues and work issues, just overwrought and over, overworked in some areas of their life. So again, their focus may be on other things other than a particular relationship. Now, if you're dealing with... <clears throat> A Virgo. Some of you may be finding out that this Virgo is married in a committed relationship. Some of you, this Virgo wants to commit to you, but there is a battle of wits. Uh, so you may be very defensive or argumentative at this time. They also can be uh, argumentative and defensive and making it very difficult to get to a cohesive place together uh, if you're dealing with a Virgo. and I, But I also feel that there's something about obligation and responsibility in a traditional way in doing things with a Virgo that is comfortable conflicting with another person okay so again be it someone being called out because there's um a relationship that's already um in the works like someone over this virgo already has a relationship and you're calling them out or you're in a relationship with a virgo and they're being called out by a third party uh, but i do see someone kind of trying to disrupt what's already in place is kind of what I'm seeing here. Uh, so if that is you, if you know that you're, that you, the Virgo in your life is with someone, try your best to um, disconnect and not engage. Because I feel that your anger, your frustration, albeit, you know, probably very um, justified, I think that because it's mixed with so much emotion, the way that you'll deliver it won't necessarily hit the mark. It'll come across as argumentative, aggressive, and and I think that you'll your intent is going to fall short. So try to kind of take a step back and maybe reapproach the situation in a different way after you've had some time to think about it if you feel like kind of going after a Virgo um, for some inappropriate things. If you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like a Libra 
wants to work on things. They want to get on the other side of the, the problem with you and they want to work things out. They want to move in together and they want to start from scratch. They're willing to start step by step and build something real, build something new. They don't want to fight. They don't want any more drama. All this Libra wants is peace and that's it. I mean, literally, that's all they want. I feel that um, if you're looking for peace or trying to move forward with this Libra and you may be apprehensive to try to work things out, you don't have to worry about it. The Libra is not going to come with any drama. They don't want to fight. They're willing to literally work this out. And and probably for some of you, um, if you're nervous that they're going to give you a what for, they're going to curse you out. That's not the case with this Libra. This Libra just wants peace. And they really want to build things back up to the way that they used to be and even better. So for those of you fire signs who may be missing your Libra, um, you want to work things out. And really, a lot of you may already have worked things out because I see that the waters are very calm now between you and this Libra. Libra. So things may already be on the in, in the better side between you and your Libra. And it's a really great opportunity for you guys to perhaps get to a place of commitment that it, you know, fosters moving in together or being married. And if you guys are married, then, you know, whatever hiccups along the way, it looks like you guys are definitely going to be able to work things out. So kudos, kudos to you and Libras. Definitely looks like it's a great opportunity to, to kind of make things work in a very positive way with Libras. They're on board all the way. Now, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, let me make sure I'm not missing placement. If you're if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel that Scorpios want to kind of reignite a relationship. They want to come in and start slow but steady. They really do. They are kind of waving the white flag a little bit. If you're dealing with a Scorpio fire signs, uh, they want to come in or they're making an offer. It could just be a, a, a slight gesture. But trust me, they want to work to build something very solid and stable down the line. Again, I kind of get like your energy may be someone who's very attracted to this so Scorpio. Like you want to date them. You want to have sex. You want to go here. You want to go there. You want to just have a lot of excitement with them. But at the same time, I'm obviously speaking, <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm only speaking to men here. It could very well be women. Uh, but I feel that, and this is for everyone. It is for male and women. But particularly with this Scorpio energy, I'm kind of getting more male energy here. Uh, but let's be very clear. The Scorpio wants to work toward that. They don't want to rush into just having sex with you. They want to take their time step by step and de develop something. That may be very difficult at this time for you fire signs, particularly if you are a fire male, um, because you are very intent to be with them but it is very physical it's very passionate is what you want from them and they want something solid and stable so some of you may be dealing with scorpios that's trying to redirect this relationship they don't want friends with benefits anymore they don't want something that's just sexual they want to start very slowly let's just be friends or let's just be co-workers or business partners but let's not mix it up and let's not confuse it and get sex involved Good luck with that, Scorpios. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> now, if you're dealing with a uh, Sagittarius, I feel that the Sagittarius is letting go a lot of a lot of burdens, a lot of drama, a lot of issues. Anything that was bringing them down, the Sagittarius is going to let it go. Okay. Um, I feel like if they were holding any grudges, they may be prepared to let those go as well. But I just get with a Sagittarius, they're letting things go and they're focusing on matters of heart, matters of love. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Some Sagittarius are letting go of all of the drama and the issues in their life for a particular person that loves them. Okay, so letting go everyone else, letting go, you know, all of the hurt, all of the pain, all of the drama, they're letting that go for someone that loves them. Um, and I also get that some Sagittarius are letting the baggage like this, they're letting the baggage go. So I think for some of you, if you are interested in dealing with a Sag, this would be a, probably a good time to kind of deal with a Sagittarius. For some of you, I'm not saying all of you, but you probably are going to meet someone who really isn't about games and, and game playing. Perhaps they went through quite a bit. They're letting those things go and they're ready to start something new. And I feel that they also come without baggage. Does that make sense? So they come without holding on to so much drama. They also may be um, 
completing something. So they could be finishing something and now they can focus on matters of heart and matters of love. Uh, so I think, you know, I really do think that Sagittarius are kind of reclaiming their heart. Uh, they really do love some of you. I get some Sagittarius is really love a fire sign. Um, and they're letting go of drama and baggage is kind of what I'm getting. So if you're dealing with a fire sign, I'm sorry, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, it looks like this is someone that truly will fall in love with you. Really, if they are not already completely in love with you, um, looks like they will fall in love with you. I feel like if you are the fire sign dealing with a Sagittarius woman, you just really need to let go of any hangups, any baggage, anything from your past. You've got to be willing to let those things go and really um, cultivate this relationship because you could have someone who can show you an immense amount of love. It, she really could show you an, a major amount of love, but you've got to be mature and ready for it is what it looks like to me. Um, now, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, it's so funny. Um, if for some of you that have has dealt with a Capricorn, either you were unattracted to them um, or you didn't want to deal with them when they wanted you, uh, for whatever reason, everyone has their reasons. You know, you may hear if you don't already know that this Capricorn has moved on to an Aquarius. And if that is the case, they may get married. I do see a Capricorn Aquarius and I know this has nothing to do with earth signs. This is not earth element or air, but I just see this very strongly as that an Aquarius or Capricorn may um, get married, have some type of very long lasting relationship, um, have some type of strong commitment together that that lasts a very long time. And it may have something to do with they, their business are tied in together. They have all kind of monies tied in together, which makes the relationship even stronger. So, you know, check in on that Capricorn. If some of you feel like, you know, I'm not going to give them another chance, but you probably will feel like they could be the one that got away because it looks like a Capricorn may get away. Uh, for others of you, I feel like this Capricorn isn't necessarily making any fire signs and issues for some. They may not be putting the time and attention into a relationship or wanting to commit because they're really focused on their finances and their career and stabilizing themselves or re really building their business, building and we and you know that sometimes Capricorns can think um, very vast, like they don't think of just a small time business. They want to make it into a corporation. They want it to be a fleet. They want it to be a chain like they think organization. Right. So this person may be really thinking on that level and making it very difficult to give them give you their time because that may take away from their focus, which is needed for you know, the business and growing themselves on a monetary level. So Capricorns, again, may not be the, the, the biggest um, option in the dating pool. Um, I don't feel like they'll be coming back anytime soon. And again, by the time you hear from them, you may already find out that they're with someone else. It's kind of what I'm saying very strongly here. Now, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, it looks like this Aquarius is thinking about you quite heavily, uh, very much focused. They they're still they still love and commit to you um, and very loyal to you. I think you probably, if you guys are in a relationship with an Aquarius, they may have told you that, you know, they love you and that they want to be with you and they want to be married to you or they want to live together. They want to make some kind of commitment toward you. Now, if you're, well, I, I was, yeah, I just feel like Aquariuses are definitely, um, sharing their love, very much committed and devoted to you. Um, thinking about you quite a bit. Also, Aquarius people, if you're meeting an Aquarius woman in particular, she's very much money focused or money would be very much um, of an importance to her. She may have her own business or thrive financially in some kind of way. Also, she wants commitment. She expects commitment. Uh, nothing fly by night. She's not someone that's just going to jump and run into bed with you. She's going to be very strategic and and how she approaches you because again her her focus and her expectation is some form of commitment so if you think that it's going to be a one and done or a quick in and out with an Aquarius good luck with that because on site you'll know she means business and she wants eventually a ring or some form of commitment that locks the two of you together now if you're dealing with a Pisces I think this is one of the most amazing relationships particularly if you're with if you're a Leo if you're a Leo dealing with a Pisces you may feel like you've met your complete soulmate on earth like 
they fell from the heavens and they came down to you. Uh, this, this can very well, if you're dealing with a Pisces, you guys may lock it in and get married this year or get married next year is what I see very strongly, especially if you're a Leo with maybe Pisces somewhere in your chart, you may find that you may find your absolute soulmate like your one if you already don't have them and, and prepare to get married this year again, like I said, or next year. So congratulations, Leo, if that is the case for you guys. But an amazing relationship afoot here for uh, those of you who are dealing with a Pisces. I feel like there's a lot of passion. There, there may be some holding back, but I don't feel like it can happen very well. I don't think that it can last very long because not only is there a physical connection, but there is an immense spiritual soul connection together. Um, everything just goes so well. And sometimes it, you and this Pisces may have to pinch themselves to feel as though how is it that you're having a bit of heaven on earth? Like it's that type of thing. Everything between the two of you have such alchemy and it just goes and meshes so well. You feel complete with this Pisces. So I guess if you're meeting one, it is going to be out of this world, fire signs out of this world. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this has been helpful. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I will I will link down below for all of you who would like a personal reading the link to my website. You can click on it and set something up sub, set something up for yourselves. Excuse me, guys. And I would love to hear your response on this reading. So if you'd like to share, please do so in the comment section below. Also in the description box, I'll leave the links to the extended reads for this week's reading as far as love you versus them. So we're going to look specifically at this person and you and all of their background of how they feel about you. Just in the description box below, you'll find all the details about that. Um, so guys, again, um, that's what I have for you guys. If you're new, uh, welcome and subscribe because I will be back again with another one. Take care. Fire signs.